if you want to help the poor, you should be able to build a bridge between these people, even use their talents and abilities to uplift the poor, work for their justice for them and so on, rather than exclude ourselves from the rest of the society in a little uh, island of our own. On the 20th of June, when I complete 50 years, and when I look back at 50 years, uh, though it looks like a long, very long number of years, but it is actually gone very fast. And I have experienced many very uh, interesting uh, changes in the society and in the church, and of course all around me. When I look at the changes that have been taking place in our province, I saw that uh, our province men were mostly Australian priests. And they, I was the first one to join from Kerala, and I was alone for m several years. But the uh, lifestyle at that time was very much Australian, and we changed over the years to very simple life, very close to the people we were serving, and simple food, simple dress, simple modes of transport and reaching out to the people in the far-flung areas. These were big changes that took place which, Im which had a great impact on me. I had a short term in a parish, traditional parish, then I was made the first provincial of Azariba because it was a region before that and that was a great challenge for me because I was away from the province but coming back to the province Eight years, uh, after, after eight years, I had to in, uh, give a vision and a plan for the province, really to organize as a province of Azaribagh region, and that was a great challenge, and I had many exciting times there, not only starting new missions, some of them among new tribes, which we had never approached, like Koravas, then uh, the promote the inculturation among the Dalit and also among the Sandal people, which our province was doing very well. Then there were some tragedies too. Once I was in the night attacked along the road by someone and I got hit and was hurt and bleeding, but I didn't die. <laughs> I reached back home and that was a very serious hurt on, the, uh, on my head. Of course, that w I got over that. Then the real tragedy was when one of my own uh, companions who was working among the Dalits was kidnapped by the Naxals and he was beheaded. Father A.T. Thomas is that. So after finishing this uh, term as provincial, I went for a strange sabbatical, that is for addiction counselor training program in Ireland because I had done some psychology before. My purpose was to come back and work among the tribal people and Dalit people who had a lot of problems with addiction. So I thought we could help their families, their children with some counseling, some guidance and so on. But I was sent to Punjab where uh, the Delhi Archdiocese wa wanted uh, training program for the seminarians before they went to philosophy. So I was once again back in training the diocesan priests. I was the only Jesuit in that diocese of Jalanda. Later, after one year, I was called to Delhi to become rector of the Vidya Jodhi Theologate. During that time, I had gone to some of these dioceses to give retreat to the whole diocese and the priests. In this way, even today, we have good relationship. From Vidyajodi, of course, is an exciting place. 
because it is in the capital and the theologians, about 150 of them, are very much part of the civil society. Anything that happens in Delhi, they are part of it. So they do go for a work, a lot of works, uh, among the people in the slums, in the Muslim uh, mohallas, and in the in the Jandar Mandir, where there are a lot of protests take place. Participate in great procession, dharna protests, as well as contribute a lot to the domestic workers' uh, uh, training programs there. There are more than. 100,000 uh, uh, domestic work uh, girls in Delhi, many come from Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Orissa and so on. So these people are in, uh, involved, about 25 scholastics are involved in going and giving some services on weekends uh, and uh, in this way they have been a support to them because they are very much lost as migrant laborers in Delhi. So from there only I was called up to this new job and now I am completing four, year, uh, four years on the 31st of May and I feel that the conference has been making strides but it has its own challenges and difficulties because right now we are about uh, 4,100 in the conference so the Society of Jesus expects that we play a greater role in the international responsibilities of the society in the various uh, universities and of Rome which the society is running as well as man the courier of the general and so on. But we have been very much involved in our own uh, uh, provinces because of the many activities in which our Jesuits are involved. Uh, so we have not been looking beyond the provinces or not even to the conference. So with great difficulty I find people for the conference needs. We need about 120 of them uh, each, uh, to run the conference work alone and I have to depend on the provincial. They are also under pressure to give more men to their own works so very difficult to get the right people and to get things moving. In spite of that, we have done a lot of reorganization of formation. We are also planning uh, revisioning each one of the institution so that we can move towards a world-class training program in which people from other conferences also can come and participate. So this is my vision that conference should provide with the Asian flavor, Indian flavor, spirituality, theology, interreligious dialogue and uh, uh, social sciences in such a way that the rest of the church can be enriched and the other Jesuit conferences can be enriched. So this is where we are moving and another two years maximum I will have. Again looking back it gives me a great satisfaction. I had something to contribute in their growth as religious Jesuits.